You are listening to the Bad Boy Radio Show with Mr. Locario and Mouse Cunningham. This is that real shit, not that fake shit. The only radio show that's not afraid to tell you the truth about the game. This is the Bad Boy Radio Show. Remember, the truth is inside you. Yo, people. What's poppin'? What's yeah. going on? It's the What's Bad up? Boy Radio Show with Mr. Locario and Miles Cunningham. What's poppin', Miles? What's poppin', dude? What's going on? Chilling, chilling, man. Sunday night, man. I feel what I'm you. I'm looking forward to. <laughs> In that game, son. I feel you. I feel you, man. So today we're going to be talking about, um, you know, the topic is how much effort do you need to put in to attract women? How much work do you have to actually do? You understand? And, you know, I know I know the, the, the word work scares people. I was I was told I shouldn't say work because nobody wants to put in work. You feel me? But, right. you know, I, it just it hurts me. Cause I I gotta keep it real with y'all, man. Cause I I, yo, I be getting emails like every day from dudes. They be hitting me up. They be like, "Yo, Mr. Locario, I I I I was trying that thing you was talking about, and and you know it didn't work. And I w- I did this and it didn't work. And then when I asked them, I say, "Okay, what was that thing that I told you to do that didn't work?" And then they'll be like, "Oh, well, I you know I heard you said talk to a lot of women. So this month I talked to like seven girls." And they all rejected me, so I didn't get any of them. And I'm just like shaking my head, and I'm wondering like, in a month, it, exactly. You see what I'm saying? So people, yeah. <laughs> so people are misinterpreting what it means. And I've and I've said this before, and you said this um two miles. I think one, one time on one of the shows, you were saying like, yo, you got to talk to like 20, 30 girls a day if you really want to get shit popping. You feel what I'm saying? I see. But see, yep. they 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 not they not trying to hear that. <laughs> And, and I know, guys, I know you don't feel like it's, I know you, you, you get sick of it, but this is what you got to do if you want shit to pop off. You feel me? So, right. you know, that's what we're going to do. But listen, we're going to take a, a quick commercial break, right? And when we come back, we're going to get, we're going to get into some news and then we're going to get into the topic. You guys are listening to the Bad Boy Radio Show. Hey, what's up? It's dating and life coach, Mr. Locario. Go to badboymembership.com and master the dating game by joining my Bad Boy Membership Program. In this program, you'll receive 45 through 90 minute, easy to follow, step-by-step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract, date, and have sex with beautiful women. Join the Bad Boy Membership today by going to badboymembership.com. That's badboymembership.com. Yeah. Yeah, we're back. No, I... We're back on the Bad Boy Radio Show, man. So we got some news. We got a couple things in the news. You know, I was searching. And, you know, it's guys, it's really hard to find news, man, because a lot of this shit that be in the news is just like, it's it's not, it's it's whack. I'm like, why are we even talking about this? You understand? <laughs> why, are we talk- why is this news? <laughs> right. I'm right, just like, you know, like I'm, I'm, I'm up there searching for stories, and they're like, oh, guess what? Taylor Swift lied about not knowing that Kanye called her a bitch on his song. Like, who the fuck cares? Like, I don't, who cares? <laughs> I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Like, are, those two, are those two little girls still fighting Kanye West and Taylor Swift? Exactly. I don't understand. I don't understand the bullshit, man. But listen, we're going to get into some news. Let me get the, the news thing on. All righty right. then. <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, in, in, in news, uh, your boy Manny Pacquiao... Uh, oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> what a what a okay. Go, yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> Manny Pacquiao said that uh, gay people are worse than animals, right? So yep. he and he, you know, and his thing, and he, you know, of course, he had to apologize because you know gays run the world. Um, but right. what happened is, is that uh, he he had to, he apologized because I think he lost some deal with who was it Nike or somebody. And yeah, Nike dropped his ass like the next day, my nigga. Like, right? <laughs> it wasn't playing. Here's, here's what it was. And you see, what happened was it was a uh, a Filipino news thingy. Like mm-hmm. he was getting interviewed by some Filipino people, or right. his his homeland. So I guess he was like uh, comfortable or something. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, 
Like, like you know how white people when they with a bunch of other white people, they you, you can tell they probably say nigger a lot. You right, know what right, I'm exactly. So <laughs> Manny Pacquiao, like you know, just in his defense, like Manny Pacquiao is a man's man. Okay, Manny Pacquiao is your traditional man. Like he, you know, he believes in the traditional roles, um, gender roles, and he, you know, he's very upstanding. He provides for his family, his community. You know, he. He holds, I think, a public government office in his country, and he's just a very traditional type of man. You understand what I'm saying? Right. So he's being interviewed by a Filipino broadcast, you know, company. I don't know for sure, but it's one of the news stations out there. And they, I don't know how it came up, but, and mind you, the whole interview was in um, the language that they speak, you know, Filipino or right. whatever. So he must have got comfortable, because the, the dude said, the translation was, you don't see animals having sex with other animals. So why, why would it be okay for humans of the same sex to have sex with, you know, other humans of the same sex? Right. So therefore, you know, gay people are worse than animals. Right. <laughs> but see... So, but, and it's messed up because he's wrong, he's wrong. Right on on a couple of accounts because there are animals that like have sex with each other right, or, exactly. of the same. Sex. There are gay, there are gay animals. Uh, <laughs> so so and then so all hell broke loose after he said what he said, and of course he had to apologize and all this. You know, it right. was just it was ridiculous. I feel sorry for the cat too. Right, not because there's there are gay animals. There are you know I I was actually at the um the museum of sex, right right. And, I was looking, they have an exhibit where they talk about animals having sex. So they had, you know, they showed you gay lions and they showed you these two gay penguins and they also had like a, a chick on the side. So it was like a threesome type of thing. It was crazy. Nice. And this, this is the crazy uh, animal. Exactly. Nice. Polyamorous uh, penguins. But the craziest shit that I saw, I got to tell you, this shit is hilarious, right? So they had a store, uh, you know, an exhibit of a duck who raped another duck and the duck that the duck was raping was actually dead okay so it was necrophilia and rape at the same time and and it was a duck so watch out for these ducks wow (laughs) and yo wow the funny part is because you know when you're you're in the museum and it has a little description of what you're looking at so i'm reading the shit and it says that the 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 ducks were in the air and then I, i guess the duck uh, killed the other duck in the air because it was trying to get some, and then while it fell on the ground, the duck raped the dead duck for about seventy five minutes, and then, mm. and then and then the guy who was watching the duck rape the other duck stepped in and broke it up. <laughs> so I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> After seventy five minutes, exactly. I'm like, yo, I'm like, what? what why were you? I'm like, why were you waiting seventy five minutes? minutes. Like, Wait, yeah, let's just. <laughs> I'm like, what was this guy doing waiting for 75 minutes to 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 stop this? So duck? it was an actual guy, like a caretaker, a human person, a caretaker of the duck, or was another duck? No, no, it was it was a human person who stopped it, but he he saw the whole wow. thing happen, so he actually waited and watched this duck rape another dead duck for 75 minutes. I'm like, wow. Wow. Dude. See, my question is, what the fuck were you doing after the first 10 minutes or the first five minutes? Homie? <laughs> exactly. Like, come on, saying. man. <laughs> I mean, wait, wait, wait. You just trying to prove a point on some scientific shit? Maybe, yeah, maybe he was trying to, like, you know, on some research shit. He was like, I wonder how long this duck is going to take. And I guess after the 75th minute, he was like, nope, this is too long. I have to separate this. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Are we still talking about Manny Pacquiao or are we talking about duck with and duck? Like, what are we talking about, about right now? <laughs> how did it get here? Yeah. Jesus. Oh. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm just saying to so, all you. Manny Pacquiao was dead wrong, like hard body. Because <laughs> you got necrophilia duck, you got, I mean, you got uh, fucking polyamorous penguins, mm-hmm. and and you got gay dogs. They're just stories of dogs fucking other dog, male dogs in the ass. You right. know what I'm saying? So you know, I've, you know, I've, I've heard of that before. That's crazy. Even in Jamaica, the most ungay place in the world, quote unquote. <laughs> You got oh, dogs man. fucking other dogs. So yeah, Manny Pacquiao messed up real bad. Nike, you know, dropped him, and he I mean, he had to give a public apology, and you know. But like I said, the only explanation I could come up with is he was probably you know 
comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. And he, you know, he was in his in his home state or in his in his home country. You know, just chilling, doing a little interview, and thought he had the you know he had free will to say anything he wanted to. Right. And it 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 it, it, it backfired real bad for him. You so, know, what, you on know. a side on a side note, though, I gotta ask this question. I, I wonder what you think. Is like how how powerful is money really? You understand? I'm just trying to, because you got all these celebrities and people, they'll come out and they'll say some shit and then, you know, somebody will drop them from some sponsor or whatever it is. And mind you, these are celebrities who are already rich. They probably like 80, 60, a hundred million deep in, 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 in money. Right. So you say right. some shit about gay people or women or whoever, and everybody's like, Oh my goodness. How can you and then, and then it's like, you know, they apologize like that. And it's like, you know, they don't mean the fucking apology. They just right. don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, why can't there be a celebrity that says some shit? And then they'd be like, Oh, you know, that's not cool. And they drop them from Nike or Adidas or whatever the hell. And then they say, right. aren't you going to apologize? And they, and they just look at the cameras and be like, fuck no, I ain't apologizing. You understand? Like, why can't <laughs> there be somebody that is the money that serious? You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck is that about? Money money is that serious because you got to understand, like, like, especially for athletes. Right. Okay? Like, there are some athletes that get paid a lot and there are some athletes that only get paid when they work. So, like, right. a fighter, he only, mind you, it's a lot of money, but right. he's not getting paid what Mayweather gets paid, right? Mm -hmm. And Mayweather is Mayweather is like probably three, four hundred million deep. But think about it. Mayweather owns everything. You right. understand? Now, somebody like Pacquiao, he's pretty famous, but he only gets paid when he fights. Right. So the in-between money has to come from the endorsement. Right. You understand what I'm saying? And you got to understand, people are planning their lives around these sums of money that they're getting into their life. So, yes, in mm -hmm. a lot of cases, the money is that important. But don't Manny Pacquiao got like $80 million? Well, eighty million dollars seems like a lot of money, but when you're living, when you're living like, oh, think about it. When you're living the type of life, that right? Like they exactly. So they, they you know need what I'm saying? Because you, you you look at a guy like Manny Pacquiao, his expenses might be two million dollars a year. So if right. you if he if you say he has eighty million dollars, truthfully, he only has thirty good years of living left. You right, understand what right. I'm saying? Because he has to hire so bodyguards. He got to. He got to take right. care of his family, all those other people. He probably right. take plus, care of like a thousand people and shit. <laughs> exactly. Plus, every year things get more and more expensive. So that, that eighty million dollars after ten years is only going to be really worth like sixty million. You right. see what I'm saying? Right. So yes, the money is that important, and that's why you got to apologize immediately. Damn. Now, now if you are, now if you a real if you a real dude who like, let's just say you wanted them cats to, like, all right, look at somebody like Dave Chappelle, right? Dave Chappelle lives on a farm. He probably grows his own food. Right. Um, I mean, of course, he probably still goes to the grocery store to get certain things or whatever, but he has, he lives on a farm. So if he wanted to, he could go off the grid. And and right now, he's actually totally off the grid. He's not on TV, and he only does shows that he selects to do, and he gets paid directly from those shows. Right. Now, a person like Dave Chappelle, if he wanted to, can say, fuck no, I'm not going to apologize. Exactly. You understand what I'm saying? Exactly. <laughs> because his fan base is the only thing that's paying him right now. Not Hollywood, not TV, right. not none of these corporations. You understand? So, but it, it, it depends on the artist. A person like Pacquiao, he does sports. And unless people come out to see your fight, mm -hmm. It's not going to happen. And then, like I said before, you only get paid when you fight. Because think about it. You got to train. You need, you know, supplements. You got to pay your trainers. You got to pay all these different people, you know, massage therapists, physical therapists, doctors. You got to pay all these people. But you only actually get money when you fight. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Right. So he doesn't really, it might look like a lot of money, but at the end of the day, after he pays everyone, it, he doesn't pocket a lot of money. Right. You and, and you got to think about taxes and all this other shit. Uh, yeah, exactly. Crazy, so. Because with, with taxes, taxes take a 50%. If he, if he makes $6 million tonight off a of fight, he's only taking home three. And after that, you still got to pay a bunch of people. Right. Damn. So it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's, it really is crazy. That's why you got to apologize right away. So, so, no so, so the moral of the story is 
You just got to keep your mouth shut and get that paper. You understand what I'm saying? That's, that's what it is. I'm not saying nothing about nobody. Especially <laughs> gay people. We <laughs> would have been better off making, making saying some fucked up shit about black people. There's no, probably nobody would care except maybe Al Sharpton. Right. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. But because he said some shit about gay people, oh, mm-hmm. you, you're not getting away with that shit. Nigga. Sad you, but true. You got to pay the price. Just sad but true, man. But anyway, yep, yep. oh man, sucks. But anyway, <laughs> so so on to other news. I thought this was hilarious. So there's a chick. She's a, she's a stripper, and she had an abortion, right? But the the baby daddy was Fetty Wap, right? So she oh she had an abortion because she, this is the reason why she had an abortion because she didn't want to be Fetty Wap's eighth baby mama okay so he has seven other baby mamas and she didn't want to be the eighth one so that's that's why she had an abortion i'm like wow like the let me oh man the attention whoring is on level 10 million right now (laughs) level 10 million oh my god it makes ratchet sense to me oh my god you said it makes what that's that that's making ratchet sense. Ratchet that's good ratchet sense right there. That's <laughs> hey, yo, it's it's crazy because you would think she would be like, Okay, cool. Let me have this baby and get these uh, you know, um uh, you know, checks from this dude. You Child understand what I'm saying? Check. You would think right. that's what most of them would do. But she was like, Listen, the attention see, she don't care about money. We talking about how important is the money. She's like, Fuck that. The 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 prestige of being the only baby mama is more is what I wanted. You understand what or I'm saying? At least I at least want it to be number six. But now right. I gotta be number eight. Number nah, eight. that doesn't work. Exactly. <laughs> so she was like, I would rather kill this baby than be number uh. eight. Wow, that shit is crazy, man. But what the hell's up with Fetty Wap though? Seriously, like why would you like like eight chicks, dude? Like, damn, son, like man, I don't know. I don't know. These dudes, they these dudes love uh these dudes love not they having love money. Russell, right? you know <laughs> they love busting rolls, They love busting rolls, and they never heard of a sex in me. Like, never oh heard. Oh my god, it. damn! And my thing is, it's like, yo, okay, certain certain chicks, like if you gonna if you gonna uh, get a chick pregnant, get a chick pregnant who who does more shit. You understand? Like niggas are getting these right. strippers pregnant, these chicks that you know don't do nothing. I'm like. You could smash them if you want, but don't get them pregnant. Like that's crazy. Like what? Oh, man, that's like you. You're not. You're not. You're not gaining anything from that. You understand what I'm right. saying? I'm like, God, right. you're not man. adding anything to your life whatsoever. But see, the problem is though, is that these strippers though, they be looking bad. That's the problem. Because I remember somebody asked me that I was at an event, and this lady was like, "I don't understand why you know these guys just get with these strippers and these thoughts." And there's these really good uh, women who, you know, who uh, go to school, who have something going for themselves. But I'm like, yo, but they don't they don't look like the strippers, though. You understand what I'm saying? They don't look like that. Like, like just because you got your degrees, girl, like, but you don't look like Amber Rose. You understand what I'm saying? Like, let me tell you something. (laughs) Degrees might be able to keep you warm, but they don't make you hot. Exactly, 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 <laughs> exactly, for real. Oh, and and only, only people who've been Kanye West fan for years will get that. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, yo, Amber Rose, can we take a second, though, on Real Talk, to 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 to, to just, just understand how bad Amber Rose is, seriously, like, just think about Amber Rose, Google her, a picture of her on, on the internet right now. And just because right. sometimes, you know, you get, you get, you know, you think about the whole Kanye West thing. You think about the fact that, you know, she, you know, she's on some gold digging chair and it's not wrong with that, but it's like, you know, you know what she's about. You understand? But it's like, when you really look at her at all, you understand what I'm saying? Cause I, 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 I met Amber Rose, like, I think maybe it was probably like six months before she got with Kanye or before it's been, you know, it was out that she was with Kanye. And right. I saw, I saw her in person, dude. And she looks even better in person, dude. Like it's so imagine she looks good when you see her on the screen and on pictures in person, she looks even better, my dude. So I'm like, uh, like, <laughs> you know, you, you kind of say, damn, what happened with Kanye? What happened with Wiz? Why did they even bought the son? I, I, I understand. I understand. Cause son, she's bad. Son. I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Amber Rose is a bad fucking chick, okay? Bro, no, I mean, okay, but what about 
See, what about a vasectomy, though? What about a vasectomy? Right, that's what I'm saying. Like, like, what, like, seriously, like, once you, I don't, if you know you love fucking all that bad, nigga, like, you can, cause, okay, a pair of Jordans is like, what, 200, mm-hmm. right? 220? A, right. a vasectomy, a, a vasectomy is like 300, or sometimes if you got, you know, if you got certain types of insurance, it's actually less than that. You know right. what I'm saying? right. So I don't I don't get why these dudes gotta have all these kids really nilly. But the only thing the only thing the only thing that I find good about all of that shit is that you know, and this is for a whole other topic, but they're trying to control population so much that that is the that is the only reason why I kind of support you know quote unquote unwanted pregnancy, right? Because they are really trying to like stop especially brown people from having children. Mm-hmm, you feel right, what I'm saying? Right. Like, honestly, that's why the dating game is so hard. And, and honestly, that's why they, they push so much LGBT stuff. And I mean, that's the same reason why, why Manny Pacquiao had to apologize right away. Because they don't really want for, pe- like, for heterosexual people to, to continue getting together because they want to control the population. So, but other than that, like, why do you have to always eat raw in a bitch. Like, why? Like, why, why, why? Like, your mm. pussy feels good, but <laughs> come on, son. Come on. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I was just talking to a friend of mine the other day. This nigga, he just got his, he, he, not a, check this out, his job is to drive buses, mm. right? Right. He just got his license back from fucking fighting with the court for, for, for back child support. You wow. understand? Wow. And now he's like, oh, well, they, he was like, yo, they're taking money out of my check, and, um, but my, my girl is only getting, or, you know, my ex-girl or my baby mom is only getting this much money, so I got to go find out where this money is going. And, like, yo, that's that's too much stress to me. Like, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. It's, but, it's... But, but, okay, the longest you would fuck as an average dude is about a half hour to an hour, right? Right. Yeah, it feels good, but my nigga, like, 18 years of bullshit, you know, right. you, you know, I don't know what else you need to tell me. He said, he said, it's a possibility that you might have to pay child support till age, till the child is age 26. What? Wow. There's a possibility that you might have to pay child support till age 26. Wow. Because if the child goes to college, then that means, depending on the state you're in, you, you, you're, um, the child is in need of funds because they're not actually like working for themselves. So if they're in college, you still got to support the child because they're still considered a dependent for the fact that they're in college. Damn. You see Jesus. what I'm saying? So if your child chooses to be a lawyer or a doctor or some shit that takes like eight years of schooling, mm-hmm. you might be paying child support until they fucking graduate uh, <laughs> law school or medical school. You, wow. you, you, just because you wanted to fuck a bitch wrong, my nigga, like seriously? No, 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 wow. I'm sorry. Pussy never felt that good to me, ever. Wow. Ever. That sounds weird, Damn. but pussy never ever felt that good to me. Whew. I'm sorry. This is this is this is scary. This is like, oh my god, yo, that's this shit. This, you know, you guys, you guys need to 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 clip this, especially this part of the show, and put it on your iPod or your your iPhone. And every time you're about to smash a chick, just play this this part. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you know, so it's crazy. I got, you know, I, I got another friend. Niggas, he drives a cab, so he drives one of those black. Lincoln Town Cars. And he, he got his license suspended because of child support. And imagine that shit. Your job is to drive, and because you owe child support, they take your license and you can't work now. Wow. Like, what? See? Like, what kind of, what kind of, you really trying to put a nigga between a rock and a hard place? Like, right. you understand? Right. Damn. Come on, man. Come on. And all because, oh, I want to feel how that pussy feels for real, ma. Nah, wow. and fuck that. That's crazy. Fuck that shit. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> so guys, you gotta be so you gotta good. be careful out there, man. You gotta be careful out there, man. Like wrap it up. Uh, I don't know. Get get you a, a steady chick that's on birth control or diaphragms or IDUs or whatever the hell is called. Yeah, there, there's so Try many something. options out there. There's so many options. <laughs> Try something. You understand? Oh crazy. man, it's crazy. I mean, you 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 have a, you have these shots that women can take. That keeps them sterile for like a year. Wow, that's you that's understand? Crazy. You got you got the men in aftercare, mm. and the last resort is you, you have an abortion. Right. You, you got you, of course you can wrap it up. 
You can use spermicide. You can use a diaphragm. You cannot fuck the bitch. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? Just go home and beat your meat. Right. Like, right. There's so many things you can do to avoid this situation. And I'm like, how many is really get caught up, though? Like, how and you know what's the funny <clears throat> part is? You know what the funny part is? Is that it's technically not that easy to get a chick pregnant. You understand what I'm saying? Exactly. Because you exactly. have that, you have that like one or two day window. You understand where you're most likely going to get pregnant. And it's like, you, you know, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's like, it's almost weird when that happens. Cause it's almost like they're both in on it. The guy knows he just nutted in her and the girl knows she was fertile at that moment where the nut came in. It's like, what the fuck were y'all doing? You understand what I'm saying? Like, right. I don't get that shit. It's crazy. It's fucking crazy. But um, well, listen. Before we go on a break, I want to read this email because I want to get right. to some of you guys' emails real quick because I get a lot of emails and I don't get to do a video for each one of them. But um, this email right here says, um, "Yo, Lucario, love your stuff." But anyway, let me get straight to the point as this is a long one. I'm a 20 year old virgin and I'm on holiday slash vacation. Right as I send this, there is a girl on the same program as me and we get along so well. I can touch her whenever. Uh, whatever which way I want, say whatever I want, and I know a thousand percent that I can bed this girl as she really likes me. Her body is amazing too, but anyway, not being very experienced in such situations, I am shamelessly scared to go further with her. She gives me all the signs, and I've kissed her on the cheek a million times, and she can easily and can easily kiss her on the lips. But man, I'm a little scared, like a little bitch. I've been waiting for for this so long and I'm freezing like a coward because I don't want to embarrass myself. I speak to wow. her so well that she thinks I'm this player slash Casanova. Um, were you this wow. scared uh, close to the first time? What do I, uh, what do I do? Um, I'm writing this on Friday the 19th and this trip ends next week, Friday. And, and I will, and I won't ever see her again. Okay. Oh my oh goodness. My. Dude. <sighs> oh man. Why? Why? <sighs> Why? Why do you like you know you, you know it's it's funny to me because it's like you know you get questions like this and you're just like like why would any why why is this even a question? Why like what are you even asking me anything for? Like this is this is almost self explanatory, dude. Like you're saying the chick is feeling you, you're on uh some trip program thing, y'all are there for a week, you're never gonna see the chick again, and the only <laughs> Right here, right fucking there. Right. Like, you'll never see the bitch again. Right. Do whatever you want. Exactly. I'm like, yo, dude, go go chill with her, put on a condom and, and smash. Like he see the thing is he's scared that and this is the thing that a lot of guys um you know mess up on. You're and, and this goes not even just with sex, it goes this goes just all, all across the board when we're talking about you know the game and doing what you're trying to do to you know make things happen with women. Too many guys are scared of how they're going to appear or how they're going to look, you know, to women. Right. You understand? They're scared of, you know, cause he's like, Oh, she thinks I'm this smooth guy. And I'm scared that if I do something, I'm not going to live up to the expectation that she has of me in her head or I'm not, you know, you understand? It's like, you're thinking right. about all this extra shit that has nothing to do with nothing. Even if you went in the, in the room and y'all had, to, you know, let's say y'all were kissing or whatever. And then, you know, you put on the condom, let's say you went in there and then you, you only, you only lasted for two minutes. Who the fuck cares? You understand what I'm saying? Who cares? <laughs> like, like, who cares? Like, maybe she wanted you to last for more. Maybe she wanted to get her orgasm, you know, but oh well, tough. It happens. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like yeah. Go ahead. In a lot of well, he, he's never gonna see her again. But right. you don't ever have to worry about your performance when it comes to the, again. Like, what did I say on the last show? Like, right. don't give a fuck with listen. <laughs> Don't care what females are thinking because you're only putting yourself in a situation to lose. Right, right. Once you begin caring about what a female thinks, you will lose. It is. I have proven it to myself many times in my lifetime. I'm 35 years old, mm-hmm. and every time I follow the fucking intentions and feelings of a female, I have lost or right. been set back. Right. Trust me. Trust me. All the niggas listening to this shit. When you follow what a woman feels or thinks and not your own. Uh, now, if you and the chick agree just by some happenstance, that's fine. Whatever. Right? That's one in a million. If y'all actually agree, that's cool. But what I'm saying is, if you're not following your own mind and doing what you want to do for you, and you let a female's input 
sway your decision making in any fucking way, you will lose. Mm hmm. Right. I mean, shit, in life, if you let anybody else, man or woman, um, influence your decision making and it's not what you want to do truthfully, you're going to lose. Right. But especially when it's a female. Because men, I don't care what they try to tell you in the news and in the media, men and women are different, like night and day. You understand? So when you let a female infiltrate your man, logic, your, man, your manhood and your logical mind, you're going to lose. So right. worrying about how she's going to think and feel about your performance or whatever, that shit don't matter. And then on top of that, you're never going to see her again. Nigga, just, you could go in there and fucking dance the Charleston if you want to. Do right. the cabbage patch. <laughs> fucking, you know, piss on her. Whatever you want to do. Like, right. just do it. Have fun, my nigga. Just have fun. Fuck right. all that other shit, man. Because the dude is in the, actually in the perfect position. You understand right now? Okay. I'm like, you know trick? <laughs> you never going to see her again? Oh. And she wanted, and she wants to make it happen. It ain't like you saying, "Oh, I'm not sure." I, you know, this is girl I'm trying to get with, but she playing games. Like you're saying that this chick is feeling you, and you know, you've been already kissing up on her, flirting with her. She's showing that she likes it. So then, do what you got to do. You understand? Like that. That's and that's what we're saying. And when, and when we're saying, look, you know, um, do your thing and don't worry about what a chick is thinking. You know, we're we're, we're saying like you have to have that mindset all the time. And we're not talking about like, and I said this in another video, the only thing you need to really listen to what a chick is saying is, as far as if she says no, you understand? Like if right. you're trying to say she exactly. says no, then you're like, all right, she says no, I'm going to stop, I'm going to keep it moving, right? Other than that, it's like, you know, make it happen. You feel what I'm saying? So, dude, make it, just just go go make it happen. You understand? Like, make sure you got a condom and right. go, fuck, go fuck that bitch. Or right. Whatever you want. You don't even have to fuck it. This is your have fun. Whatever right. you want to do, make sure you have having fun, dude. That's it. Right, exactly. That's it. Exactly. Don't put some pressure on yourself. Right. Just have fun. Mm -hmm. Real talk, real talk. So, listen. You, you could go in there and just start tickling the bitch. Right? <laughs> and the next thing you know... You know, she's sucking your dick, and you have the greatest time ever. You probably might not even have to fuck her. She'll just, she probably, she, she sounds like she's feeling you enough where she'll just give you head the whole time, and you don't got to even worry about nothing. Right, right, exactly. You feel me? Like, yo. <laughs> but listen, we're going to go on a quick break, guys. When we come back, we're going to get into the topic we're going to be talking about. And, and this goes with this, like, you know, what do you have to do? What's the work? What's the effort you got to put in to get yourself in these situations to make it work with chicks? You feel what I'm saying? So uh, we you are listening to the Bad Boy Radio Show. We'll be right back. Do you want to learn the easiest way to have more sex with more women? Then get the critically acclaimed book, How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day. In this book, you'll learn everything you need to know about attracting and sleeping with beautiful women. That's How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day. Get your copy today at MrLocario.com. That's M-R-L-O-C-A-R-I-O.com. MrLocario.com. Are you an actor who needs headshots? Do you have an event or a wedding coming up and you need a photographer? If you do, make sure you go to pavionphoto.com. Pavion is a professional photographer who will supply you with high quality video and photography services for any event. Contact him at pavionphoto.com. That's P-A-V-I-O-N photo.com. Pavionphoto.com. Yeah, people, we're back yep. on the Bad Boy Radio Show. Just yeah, have man. fun. Exactly, exactly. So, guys, today's topic, we're going to be talking about how much effort, how much work. You see, I didn't, I didn't even want to say work, but fuck it. I'm going to say work, God damn it, because you got to put in this fucking work, all right? How much work do you need to put in to actually attract women and have success with chicks okay and i'm gonna give you the short answer right now a lot of fucking work that's the answer okay so if, if you thought it was something different i'm sorry <laughs> i don't know what to tell you guys Yo. no, you know what it is yeah, go ahead we, we, we've been we've been taught we've been taught um very like a lot of things have been kept from us when it comes to the truth right right so we, we, if you think about it. You've been taught how, for how many years? Oh, if you want good grades, you got to study hard. If you want a good job, you got to, you know, impress your boss. And if you want to raise, you got to work hard. And if you want to make a lot of money, you got to work hard. But for some reason, they right. never explain to, to essentially men that if you want a lot of bitches, you got to work hard too. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly. You feel me? Like, 
this shit ain't, this shit ain't like Poppy days where, oh, you're just the cool guy that finds and, you know, chicks just do, you know, just come to you and shit. No, nah, nigga, you gotta, see, the thing is, like, even somebody like the Fonz, what they never showed you, and again, these are old references. These young niggas old probably don't even know. There's this old show called Happy Days. Right, you got this guy called the Fonz, <laughs> and he's the coolest guy in the neighborhood, and all the bitches love him. But the point I'm trying to make is, the part they never showed you is how Fon, the Fonz has to set his rep. Mm-hmm. And, and setting up your rep, your reputation takes years. Mm-hmm. You understand? Years of work. Letting niggas know who you are. Letting niggas know how you get down. He probably has to fuck a few niggas up. He probably has to, you know, you know, like, dig down a few broads in his time and, you know, do some shit to let everybody know that, yeah, that's the father. that he's the coolest nigga and he gets all the bitches and that's how it works. You feel me? Right, But right. the fact is, it don't just happen overnight. You got to put in work. Right. You got to put in work. Right. And, and you know, and, it's, and, it's, and it's interesting because, like, you know, like I get I get a lot of emails from dudes who they hit me up and 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 this 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 annoys me so much because I get emails from dudes and they'll they'll hear stuff that I say and I talked about this in another um video as a video on YouTube you could google it um it's called you can't copy and paste the game and basically what I was saying mm. was is that if I'm giving you an example of something to say because somebody might say how you know how do you talk to women what do you say to a girl to get her interested or you know what do you say to a girl to like you know see if she likes you whatever like that right so i'll explain it and i'll I'll give an example and i'll say oh you know let's say if you're talking to a girl you have to flirt with her and let's say you're you're having a conversation you're just asking her regular stuff like hey where you're from you know what do you like to do and then at a certain point you might tell her like hey you got some really sexy eyes and you know you have some nice lips right so now since somebody heard me say that, right, they're going to go to every girl and say that same exact thing I said. Again, like, hey, miss, you got sexy eyes, you got nice lips. You got sexy eyes, you got nice lips. You got sexy eyes, you got nice lips. They're going to say it to 15, 20 girls. And then if it doesn't work on on those 15 or 20 girls, they're like, yo, Miss Locario, I said exactly what you said, and it didn't work. And I'm like, dude. You know why it didn't work was because you're just copying off of what I said and you're not really understanding the essence of the game. And the essence of the game is we're talking about you got to put in work. And the first thing you really got to put in work in is on yourself. Do you understand? And this is what right. I try to get to tell guys is that I don't, you know, if you're coming at the game, looking at it where you're expecting me to give you this, uh, you know, like the, the, the step by step word for word script, like we're in a movie it's not going to work for you. You understand? We give you right. guidelines. We give you best practices and we give you the, the, the roadmap of what you need to do. You still have to implement what you need to implement in order to make these things happen. But also all that implementation is work. Do you understand? And that's right. what we try to get to you. Cause if you're not doing the work, then the results are not going to happen. You, and if you want like really, like really good results, if you want massive results, you got to put in the work and this is and again this is why I, I tell you guys like that's the reason why we have the bad boy membership that's like the main reason you understand because right he was like yo it doesn't stop right it it doesn't don't, stop. It, the work does not stop the, the the effort does not stop you have to continue researching and learning like right now you know i'm actually reading this book called how to succeed with women you guys should google that it's a it's a really good book and i had this book um years ago and they revised it to update it and so I'm reading right. it again. So you might be saying, why, why would Mr. Locario be reading How to Succeed with Women? You understand? And the reason why is because I still study the game. You understand what I'm saying? Right. And that's what most of you guys have to keep doing in order to keep yourself sharp, in order to keep things happening. You feel what I'm saying? So first, so first go to Amazon and get How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day. Right. And then go get How to Succeed with, how women. To succeed with women. Exactly. You, you see what I'm saying? So you guys got you to do that, man. You got to do that. You understand? And and the thing is, another thing is I, the question that I get is, you know, how many girls do I need to talk to in order to make something happen, in order to, you know, get a lot of women? You understand? Because I had a dude hit me up the other day. And he said, you know, he was trying to get he said he was trying to get uh, three girls. He's like, I want a rotation of three or four girls. Right. So right. he said that he went out and this, he said for the he said for the month of January. He said he talked, he said he talked to six girls, right? Oh my God. And this is what, oh and, my God. exactly. <laughs> so his goal is to get 
three three to four girls in rotation, like three to four girls that he can call on at any time to go date, have sex with, whatever, right? But right. for the whole month, he's only talked to six women. Do you understand? I got to tell you guys, it doesn't work that way. And when, when we say you got to put in effort and you got to put in work, in order for you to get those three girls, you might need to talk to 100. Do you understand? Or 200 mm. even to get those three. You yep. understand? And that's the part that guys don't understand is that it's still a numbers game. Look at it this way. It's like, it's like let's say you have a, a recording artist, right? Let's say you have, uh, you know, Big Sean or whoever or Kanye or whatever, right? Let's say these dudes go platinum. They sell a million records. Let's say they, you know, they sell a million records. They went platinum. How many people do you think? And and for those who don't know, platinum is a million, right? How many people do you think they that had to hear their songs, you know, to, to in order for them to get a million copies sold? You understand? So right. they probably had to have a hundred million people listen to their song over and over again. So times a hundred million by you know, uh, like. 10,000 times they played the song. You understand what I'm saying? Right. So, right. And, and then out of that 100 million, only a million uh, bought it. You understand? So how much is that? That's what, 1%? Do you see what Pretty I'm saying? Much. So a million sounds like a lot. Like, dude, that's awesome. You sold a million, right? But look how much people had to hear it in order for a million to get sold. So the same concept happens when you're talking to women. If you want three or four girls in rotation, you got to talk to a shitload of women. Do you understand? It's, it's really that simple. It's really that right. simple. And that's what let we let mean me, by Let me give work. an example real quick. Let me give an example real quick. Right. If I, if I, say, if I say fast food, what's the first thing you think of? Like McDonald's or something, right? Okay, all right, good, perfect. Now, when you turn on the TV, how many fucking McDonald's commercials do you see? Yeah, I see a lot of them shits. <laughs> exactly. Now, mind you, mind you, I asked you, when I say fast food, what's the first thing you think of? You said McDonald's, right? right? But these niggas are still putting brand new commercials on the television. Right. So exactly. you think about that shit. McDonald's is publicly traded on the stock market. They've been around since, what, the 70s or the 60s or some shit? Mm-hmm. Like McDonald's, you, you look at the side, it says billions and billions served. Right. You, you ask yourself, why would McDonald's still need to fucking you know, market or advertise. Right. You understand? Know right. But that shows you how deep the game is. Mm. And that's just fast food, my nigga. Right. <laughs> exactly. Now you're talking about females, okay? Right. <laughs> you feel me? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> fast food, niggas, just, niggas, been, they got, they, 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 they fucking got uh, posters, billboards, you see them on sports, you know, like when you look in the stadium, you see the signs in the sports stadium, um, all of that shit, right? And you see them on TV. You see them sometimes even when you go to the movie. You know how they show you commercials before the movie starts. Right. They be in there. Ba da ba ba ba. Right. Exactly. I'm loving it. Like <laughs> they got slogans. They got the game is deep. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. And that's just for a burger or fries, homie. Right. Right. So if we talking about females. Mm-hmm. How much? What do you really think has to go down if exactly. you really want to be successful? Exactly, because because when, 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 when you because when you talk about women, right? When you talk about chicks, you got to understand that you're you're dealing with a whole nother monster. So it's like not only do you have to work on yourself, right? You have to be in a position to be able to deal and handle. Uh, you know, interacting with women in a way that's going to be successful because when you when you're dealing with chicks, you have to know the ins and outs of like how chicks, you know, uh, you know, think and act and and what they respond to and all these other different things in order for you to be successful. So not only do you have to talk to and interact with a whole bunch of women, you still on top of that need to know how to do it in order to you know be successful with it. You feel what I'm saying? Right. So because right. you know because you could talk to you could go up to you know, a uh, uh, hundred chicks or whatever. And then let's say, you know, you don't get any of them because you still aren't confident. You still don't really know how to have a conversation. You don't, you still don't know how to, you know, transition from just, you know, uh, having a regular conversation to actually getting flirty and sexual with them. You don't, since you don't have those skills, then it's going to be even harder for you. You feel what I'm saying? Cause a dude, right. who, a dude who's good at the game, right? He might talk to a hundred girls 
and he'll get like maybe 15 through 20 of them, right? So that's still 80 girls he can get. And this is a guy who's a master at talking at women to women. You understand? Right. So imagine if you have no idea what to do, what do you think your odds are going to be? You see what I'm saying? But either way, it's still, you have to put in that, that effort and that energy in order to, you know, make that, make that happen. Now for all you guys out there, cause I, I, I'd still get emails from dudes who, who say, Hey, you know, I want to, you know, I want to actually have a girlfriend. You understand? Like the guys who actually want relationships, right? It's one thing to, you know, put in some work to, to actually get a chick to go on a date with you or to, you know, maybe have a one night stand to hook up or whatever, but you also have to put in work to maintain a chick. You understand? To have that maintenance. You feel me? So it's one thing to, you know, and, and I think that's the part of, you know, what, what lacks with a lot of like pickup artist dudes is because they'll teach you how to get some ass, but once the ass has been got right. And then let's say you like this chick. How do you keep that going? You feel what I'm saying? Right. And right. and that takes a lot of fucking work to keep that going because not only do you need to manage the, you know, what you're doing with the chick, you have to make sure that you're also, you know, sane and you don't go insane trying to, you know, maintain this situation. You feel what I'm saying? which takes a lot of work. Like, you, you know, when you see a lot of dudes who are married and you look them in their eyes and they just look sad, looks like the soul <laughs> has been stripped out of them. You understand? It's because they, re- they didn't realize how much work it takes to maintain a relationship. You understand? Right. They, they got caught up in it. They were just like, fuck, I didn't know this was going to be this crazy. And, and that's what happens because to maintain it is still a lot of work. You feel what I'm saying? It's a shitload of work. So it's, it's like, you know, and the thing is, I don't want to scare you guys off by saying work. Cause I know work is a curse word. It's scary. Cause when you think of work, you know, you think of like going to, to your job and all this other stuff. Right. But the thing is, is that if you, if you sort of understand what to do and if you sort of understand how to make it happen, then the results that you get, it's going to be worth the effort you put in. And on top of that, the better you get at it, it's not going to see, it's not going to seem like work at all. Really. It's, it's going right. to exactly. seem like, exactly. Exactly, you know what I'm saying? It's going to seem like something that's fun and interesting because once you know how to do it, it's almost like, okay, cool. Like I can actually get this and get that and make this happen and make that happen whenever I feel like it. You understand? And the same thing goes for guys who are in relationships is that if you know certain things, if you know certain ways of how to deal with a chick, right? Then you won't be as stressed out as the next man. You won't be as annoyed by the, as the next guy. Cause you'll still probably be a little bit annoyed cause you're dealing with chicks. You understand? But you won't be as fucking like crazy. You understand? So it's like, it's, it's different ways to, you know, know how to really, uh, you know, make these things happen. Right. And another thing I got to touch on real quick is it's important to understand that you got to put in this effort because you have to actually be in the situation to see how it really is and what you need to work on. So what I mean is a lot of guys, they read books about this stuff. They, you know, they, uh, watch videos, they watch, you know, Mr. Locario videos. They watch all these, you know, RSD videos. They watch other guys videos and, or read their books. And so you're getting all this information, but you're not really going out actually, you know, to talk to these girls. You're not going out to, interact with them you understand because you have to actually do that to know how it's going to go for you you understand you have to understand how it goes for you this is why i get so pissed off when dudes are always like you know this shit sucks because you know uh uh, girls only like good looking guys and all you're just getting this from 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 what you think you you're seeing like you're observing everybody but you're not really putting yourself out there because the same guys who complain about it only being about looks most of them don't go and talk to girls most of them don't put themselves out there and holler at chicks. They don't do it. You understand what I'm saying? So they have no firsthand experience on what it actually is going to be like to do it. They just assume like, they're like, well, I'm ugly. Fuck it. I'm not going to be able to get any chicks. So I'm not going to bother. What's the point? You understand? <laughs> and that's, and that's how they, that's how nothing happens. That's exactly how nothing happens. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, right. yo, you guys got to put yourself in a position to be in those situations to actually see how it really goes down because right. you know, what's the funny part is that sometimes, you know, just being out there, just being in a situation can get you sex. And I've talked about this before. Like if you went out with your boys and let's say some of your people was like, yo, we going out to this, you know, party, you should come through and you're like, no, 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 blah, 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 whatever. Right. But then you finally actually come through. You might be there. You might meet a chick 
and she might actually like you and then she's going to want to make something go down. You feel what I'm saying? And that all happened just from you showing up. You feel what I'm saying? Just from you showing up. Yep. It, but, but, but again, that's still you putting some effort to show up. Just even showing up is putting more effort than just sitting at home, you know, being on some message board and complaining about being too ugly to get chicks. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, you guys got to mention, it doesn't matter how ugly you are. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? It really doesn't matter because it's, it's, you know, truthfully, it's, it's a lot of it's a lot of good looking chicks out there that are ugly too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if you understand what I'm saying, like, <laughs> it's, it's, like, cause I've seen a few chicks who like they're they're hot or they're attractive, but mm-hmm. they ugly at the same time. You feel me? Right, right. Exactly. Not to mention, not to mention, you know, it also has to do with personality and. And and the thing is, like, chicks, chicks will say that they're interested in looks, but I I personally believe that the whole culture of women um, being interested in a guy's look comes from them wanting to match uh, male culture. Right, right, exactly. Do you understand what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, women have, women have what I call, or well, what is called penis envy. Like, mm-hmm. they, you know, like how they want to, Make everything quote unquote equal and even and all this feminism shit. They 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 say, Oh, I want a guy with washboard abs and blah 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 and I want a guy that you know, that's tall and I want a guy that's this and I want a guy that's that. And at the end of the day, what a woman really wants is to feel a certain way. Right, right. Mm-hmm. Right? So you can be short and scrawny or short and fat and ugly, but if your personality um Make her feel how she wants to feel as a woman. She's yours, and there's nothing that anybody can tell her. Like, have you ever have you ever seen the situation? You, I'm sure you've seen the situation where it's like you see two people together, and you're like, "How the fuck did he get her?" Or exactly. "How the fuck did she get with him?" <laughs> right. And it has nothing to do with the physical shit. Right. It's just the way they make each other feel. Right. Period. Right. Right. So. Guys, you need to get off that shit. The only the only the only species really interested in looks is men because biologically speaking, a man is looking for a woman that is physically attractive because it is our nature to want to procreate. Right. And whatever gets our dick hard is what is what attracts us because getting our dick hard means we can stick it inside her and make more generations. You right. understand? Exactly. But of the female a female just needs to feel secure. Mm. A female needs to feel secure and she needs to have an emotional range when she's with you, right? So that means you because you, you can be, you know, a, you know, like I said, scrawny and, and, and skinny and whatever, but if you if you talk like you know, any nigga that's sex to you is getting fucked up just because you a crazy type of nigga that will fuck a nigga up at any at the drop of a hat, she'll fuck with you because it's like Yo, he's so he's so aggressive, and I like that about him because I'm just that type of girl. I like an aggressive guy. You understand what I'm saying? Right, right. Then you got other chicks who they feel more secure when there was a guy who's more laid back because that's the type of person they are. So a nigga who he'll look brawling and shit, but his personality is mad cool and laid back. He would even bust a grape in the fruit fight type mm-hmm. shit. Right, right. And but that's just the type of guy that she's looking for. Mm-hmm. So. Guys, get off of that. Get off of the look. The woman just needs to feel a certain way. That's why you need to study the game and get your mouthpiece right. Right, for real. So you can so you can talk to these women, show show the best parts of your personality, and attract the women that will be attracted to you. Right, real fucking, real fucking talk, man. Jesus, it's crazy, and you know. And, and guys, it's 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 crazy because I think you know what happens too is that a lot of dudes are they're fooled by a lot of these um, pickup artist gimmicks and all this stuff. And you know, you go on these sites and they're like, "Yo, you know, uh, download this this thing and and say these three words, and then the girl's gonna fuck you, or you know, do this and the girl's right. gonna have sex with you tomorrow." You understand? It's like it's like you know, you gotta understand it's it's there to get you you know motivated to buy. But you have to, you got to have some common sense and understand that you, st- even with those things where they, where they make it sound all sparkly and nice and easy, you still got to right. put in work. Any, buy any of those things, they're going to still show you all the, you know, effort and stuff you have to put into it. But again, 
it's all about the results that you get. And if you actually put in that effort, you have, you'll get those results. And the reason why, you know, I even wanted to do this, this, this show tonight like this is because, you know, I, I, I get so annoyed when dudes keep hitting me up and they keep sending emails saying, Hey, you know, I did this thing. I did that thing, but what they're doing is not enough. Do you understand? And I, and I got to get right. it into your head that it, it's, it's work that has to be done. It's like if somebody wants to, you know, um, open up a business. Cause I get even emails like that from people. Sometimes they're like, yo, you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, you know, start my own business and I'm tired of working for people, you know, cause I want to get some paper right now. And I'm like, see, you got the wrong idea, bro. Because I remember I was watching this video and this guy said something I, I totally agree with. He said that someone, he says someone emailed him and asked him, you know, how can they start making money? Uh, you know, uh, uh, or, or, you know, on their own business today. Right. So what he told them, he was like, listen, what you got to do is you got to get into a time machine, right? You got to go back maybe five years back in time, right. And say, okay, I want to make a lot of money today, which is 2016. So go back to 2010 or something, start your business then. So, and then take the time machine back to uh, 2016 and then you'll have money today. You understand? So what he's basically saying is you got to put in work. You see, yeah, like it's, it's not an overnight shit. I don't understand where you guys you, you can't you, is this this stuff is not gonna happen overnight. And the thing is, right. you know what's gonna happen to, for some of you too. Also, is you don't want to get into uh, a, a situation where it's like the lottery, meaning you're gonna get a court. Like I was saying, you go up to that party and a chick might smash you, or a chick might want to have sex with you, whatever. So you're like, oh, this is awesome. And the next thing you know, you like this girl so much that you want to try to keep her but you end up losing her because you don't know how to maintain the chick, which takes work. It's the same way where people, they win the lotto and then they end up losing all the money because they didn't know how right. to keep it. You feel what I'm saying? It's the same shit, which takes work. All that shit takes work. You understand? And, and one thing I got to say too is, and this is hard for most, most guys, you know, and, and, and it's hard for me sometimes pause. And I know it's, you know, hard for Mal sometimes pause, but, um, <laughs> You you have to you have to actually want it bad enough. And what I mean by this is your success is only going to be in, you know, uh it's only gonna correlate to how bad you actually want it. Meaning if you don't if you don't really want to make it happen, what's gonna happen is you're gonna slack, you're gonna quit, you're gonna get tired of rejection, and you're just gonna be like, fuck it. You understand? And you're just gonna sort of fall off and nothing's really gonna go down. Like you have to want it. Like I have a friend uh, my dude Telly, shout out to Telly. You understand? Yep. Uh, shout out to Telly. He, he, we, we go out and he'll actually, you know, he'll actually be out there and talking to girls and he'll talk to chicks basically all the goddamn night. I'm talking about like it'll be three in the morning. And I'm like, dude, I'm I'm leaving. He'll be like, yeah, I'm I'm gonna stick around for a little while. I'm gonna stick around for a little while and talk to these yeah. chicks. Like he puts yeah, in Kelly, the work. Kelly goes in. He puts in the work. You feel what I'm saying? He puts in the work. So so that's what I'm saying. Like, you have to want it bad enough because if you want it bad enough, then you're going to be motivated to make it happen because you know why? There's going to be a lot of girls who are uh, not going to be feeling you. There's going to be some nights you're going to go out and you're not going to get no numbers. You understand? There's going to be some times where you get a bunch of numbers and they all flake on you. And then there's going to be times where you're going to actually get numbers and they're going to turn into dates. There's going to be times you go out and you meet a chick that night and have sex with her. But again, right. That all happens right. because of the amount of effort you're putting into it. You feel what I'm saying? Right. And there's no way I wish I'm, I'm telling you guys, I wish there was an easier way. Trust me. I've, I've tried to look, I, I got fooled by all the gimmicks. I was like, Oh, let me buy this thing so I can say these magic words to these girls and it'll suck my dick. It doesn't work. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't work. <laughs> hey, I'm going to tell you too. That's, that's one of the main reasons why like me personally, I fucked with you, Mr. Lucario, because right. We don't, you know, we don't talk that dumb shit, that turnkey shit. Like, right, right. we we let these cats know the real. You know right. what I'm saying? And that's something that I appreciate. You know, a hundred percent. For real, for real. Like, you know, you got so many of these things online telling you, "Oh, say these five words, and she'll hop in the bed with you." Like, that's literally what it says. Right, and right. It says, "Oh, you know, come to my come to my boot camp and." And spend nine thousand dollars, and at the end of my boot camp, every woman you meet will fucking you know fall on her knees and suck your dick. Like, right? I'm no, like, sir. 
No, sir. And I'm like, <laughs> it and doesn't it's, work that way. And it's funny to me because I'm like, how are these dudes that confident to make that promise? I don't understand that shit. Like, you know, like it's, it's weird. Like that, because I'm like, yo, it it doesn't. That's not reality. That's not reality. That's not how reality works. And in order for you to get really, and and this is what I want to say, like, you know, it's like, you know, to to sum it all up is that you have to get in touch with reality. You understand? And the reason why a lot of you guys are suffering is because you are caught up in illusion. You understand? You're caught up in fantasies. You're caught up in illusion. And the reason why you get upset and the reason why you get pissed off is because your illusions end up crashing with reality. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm. And then what happens is, is that when you, once you see the reality, you're like, fuck, what the hell's going on? And then you're upset, you're disgruntled and you, and then you start to think about, you start to think about it like, oh, all this, this, uh, dating stuff is a scam and you have to be good looking. And this is why you start rationalizing it because you start to say, well, you know what? It's because I'm ugly and, and you have to be good looking. That's why, you know, learning game doesn't work and game doesn't exist. And it's all about your looks. And I, like, I hear this shit all the fucking time. And I'm like, even on a, on a, on a logistical level, if you look outside, right, this may be, if you're, if we're talking about, uh, first of all, we're talking about looks. If you look outside, let's say on the, the, the stereotypical type of good looking, you know, the type of people that they would say is good looking. You're only going to probably see maybe 10, 15% of the population that are quote unquote good looking. Right. So right. you have 85% of these other people who are average to below average. So how the fuck are all these average to below average people even getting, you know, b- being born if only good looking people are fucking each other or getting together. Do you understand what I'm saying? How does that happen? Where did, where did these, these um, unattractive people come from? Are they from another planet? Like, how did that happen? If good looking guys are only getting with good looking women, wouldn't it be only good looking people around? You understand? Like right. the, the sort of, and, but the, the thing is, again, these guys, they don't, they don't think about it logistically. And on top of that, when we talk about looks, it's still subjective. Because you could have a super, let's say you have a super good looking white dude, right? And then you have a, a, a sort of like a, a average looking black guy, right? And he's in, and they're at a, at a party. And let's say it's a party of, you know, chicks who 90% of the chicks in there are only into black men, right? It don't matter right. how good looking this white dude is. They all like black guys. You know what I'm saying? They all like black So it doesn't matter. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm like, what the fuck is wrong? It, like, what is crazy? So it's like you guys got to understand that at the end of the day, what's going to separate you from everybody else, what's going to separate you from being, you know, this guy that's not making stuff happen to the guy that's making stuff happen is the amount of effort and work you put into it. It's really that simple. You understand? Because that's when you're going to get the results. I I just want to say, too, that remember, it, it, it is work. It is work. But but one thing you should keep in mind that, all you're really doing is being yourself. Right. So right. it's not hard work. It mm-hmm. just it just takes time. You right. understand what I'm saying? Right. Exactly. It, it takes time for you to let all this. It takes time for you to let a certain number of women know who you are. Right. That that's what you're really looking at. Mm-hmm. And the, the 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 fact is that it is a numbers game. So you have to talk to a good amount of women. So your percentage can, can you can make a good return on your percentage. Exactly. So you have to talk to a hundred women. If, if, if you're a below average chat with the game or with talking to women, then you for every hundred women, you're looking at about five prospects. Right. Right. Exactly. Right. I mean, if you're a mid range type of dude, you're looking at about eight, eight, seven to eight, maybe ten. Right. Now, if you like, if you didn't, if you a pimp type nigga, you been sitting at chicks since you were six. Then you still only looking at fifteen to twenty, maybe. Mm-hmm. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And remember, 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 guys. When you when you get a girl's number, remember if you all you got is seven is uh is seven or ten numbers. Right. You have ten numbers in a sequential order. Either you just put in your phone or on a piece of paper. Nothing else has happened yet. Right. <laughs> you understand? So. Just because you got a chick's number really don't mean nothing. What actually means something is when you make a connection with this chick. Right. You see right, what I'm saying? Right. So, you know, think about that too. You know what I'm saying? Because you can say, oh, I got 10 numbers tonight. But when you actually go to call the numbers, they might not answer. The number might not be real. Right. Like, they could have given the number to the pizza shop down the street type shit. Like, a lot of shit going on. So only count when you actually make connections, which is why 
you have to be, it's, it's not hard work. It's just you being yourself. And then it takes time because you have to introduce yourself to so many different people to play the numbers game. Right, right. It's real talk. It's real talk, man. It's real fucking talking. Guys, this is why I tell you, go to badboymembership.com right now. Go today. Go right after you listen to this and make sure you become a bad boy member because you get 45 through 90 minute audio and videos, tutorials every month, step by step stuff. You follow the guidelines, do it, and then you will see results. And you got to put in that effort. You got to put in that energy. This is why I'm telling you, it's like this, this almost like I think over 24 hours of of um you know audio slash video on there right now you understand what I'm right saying? now so there's so yep. much so much information so much stuff that you just basically you know learn it and do it you understand and then you're gonna actually make stuff happen it's the same and i always I always equate it to you know working out it's the same way if you if you had like a personal trainer and they're telling you hey do this do that do that and you're following the steps and then you do it then eventually you're gonna lose that gut you're gonna get muscle do you understand what i'm saying you're not gonna go to the gym with the personal trainer and you're you know 30 40 pounds overweight and expect him to have you lose all that weight by the weekend do you understand it doesn't work that way so that's what i'm saying like you you guys have to go out there and you have to, you know, put in that effort, and then that's when you you're going to actually see the results. Muscles. You got to exercise your game muscles. Exactly, exactly, and then that's when you're going to see results, and then it's going to be all good. You feel what I'm saying? And then, and then also you continue to learn, and you continue to get better. You feel what I'm saying? And then the more the more you learn, the more you do, the more you practice. That's when you know you're going to keep seeing things get better. You're going to actually see things getting easier because, like you were saying earlier, you know, if you start out and you're getting like five chicks' numbers, then you're going to end up noticing you're getting like 10 girls' numbers and 15 girls' numbers. Then you're going to start noticing that instead of only two of them hitting you back, you're going to notice that four or five of them are hitting you back. You understand? You're going to start to see that. But, you know, it comes along with you actually, you know, working it out. You feel me? So that's that's pretty much it, guys. We're we're out of time. We're done. It's a wrap. It's we're over. Done. It's over. So listen, I want to thank you guys for listening to the Bad Boy Radio Show. We will see you guys next week, next time. We're out of here. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. We're gone. Mm. Hey, what's up? It's dating and life coach Mr. Locario. Go to badboymembership.com and master the dating game by joining my Bad Boy Membership Program. In this program, you'll receive 45 through 90 minute, easy to follow, step by step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract, date, and have sex with beautiful women. Join the Bad Boy Membership today by going to badboymembership.com. That's badboymembership.com.